Hey everyone, and welcome back to my video series called Satan Invented Evolution. I was thinking of renaming my video series Satan Wants to Make a Monkey Out of You. <laughs> but, um, well, maybe I'll do that for my next series. Alright, uh, this is the fifth part of my video series, and if you want to see the first four parts, you can click my name on the side, check them out, and come back here when you're all caught up. Today we're going to talk about some of the things I promised we'd talk about in my last video, such as proof that there was a global flood, showing you that the Earth is only a few thousand years old, like the Bible says, and that dinosaurs lived with man. You see, the Bible says God created all the land-dwelling animals on the fifth day of creation. So all the dinosaurs lived at one time, and they were all largely killed off during the global flood around 4,400 years ago. You see, a global flood would bury the dinosaurs, which is why we find them fossilized. Now, how could I prove to you that the dinosaurs lived at one time, not over millions of years like the evolutionists say? Well, check this out. CNN proved it for me. Before we head over to CNN.com, I just wanted to go over the geological time scale one more time. We did go over this in the last video, but it's extremely relevant to what I want to show you on CNN. Now, each one of these layers, they say, are millions of years apart. So let's go to the Triassic period here that says it was 210 million years ago, to the Jurassic period 140 million years ago, and the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. What it's claiming on this graph here is that each one of these dinosaurs emerged millions of years apart, in the different eras. Now what I'm claiming is that the biblical timescale says all these dinosaurs were created and lived at the exact same time. Who's right and how can we prove it? Well, CNN did it for me. Check this out. This is CNN. Alright, just gonna scroll down the page a bit. Alright, I don't know if you guys can read this, but under the science section, right over here, it says dinosaurs coexisted with their ancestors. Wowza! Let's click on that. Study! Dinosaurs coexisted with their ancestors. Huh. Dinosaurs shared the Earth for millions of years with species that were their ancestors. A new study concludes. You know I could have told you that without going on a science expedition? So it looks like we just knocked a few layers out of the geological column. You see, a good scientific theory can make predictions. The evolutionist worldview said these dinosaurs would have lived millions of years apart. Now, the biblical view of history says the dinosaurs all lived together. And that's what we just found out, isn't it? So, the more accurate scientific biblical view of history was correct. Pretty cool, huh? You see, the evolutionists have to hide their preposterous theory behind millions and billions of years because... The telltale signs of a fairy tale are long ago and far away. And that's where they hide their theory, because they know the human mind can't comprehend millions of years all that well. So they put their theory in a fairy tale millions of years ago, because it becomes more likely when we have to use our imagination. You see, if I told you a frog could turn into a prince with a magical kiss, you wouldn't believe me. But, if I said a frog could turn into a prince over millions of years, suddenly it becomes more plausible for whatever reason in the human brain. Well, that just ain't science. Now, what's important to note, more important than the fact that they were wrong, is just how wrong they were. You see, they were wrong by a factor of a few million. They thought they lived millions of years apart, they, lived, they turned out to be living at the same time. Wow. Now, if they're wrong about the man from monkey thing, oh boy, that's a bad mistake to make. I mean, if God made us in his image, and you think you came from a monkey, that is a bad mistake to make. I mean, that's bad. Now, if you believe you came from a monkey, and that you have a modified monkey brain, well, maybe I have something for you. Let me, let me look around. You're going to like this. It's a banana. Would monkey like banana? Would monkey like banana? Okay, monkey, you can go right over there. Now, for everyone who's left who believes that they are a rational thinking person, the only way to account for rationality is, of course, to be rationally designed. Right? Now, if you believe you came from monkey... Grandpa, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh, Grandpa. Get your fig- Oh, oh no, don't- Grandpa, please, cut it out. 
How can you possibly expect me to take you seriously if you want me to believe that you have a modified monkey brain? I can't do it. Sorry. You know, the quickest way to lose an argument is to start off by saying, Hi, I come from an idiot, and uh, I'm irrationally designed by blind chance. There's no intelligence behind my creation. Wow. Okay. I guess we're done, we're done talking. The quickest way to win an argument with an evolutionist is to get them to admit they come from the animal kingdom according to their beliefs, and that's what it is, a, a belief. And they will admit that. They have no shame about saying, yeah, I believe I come from the animal kingdom. Well, when you get them to admit that, you then can say, okay, well, as a creationist, I can no longer take you seriously. And even if I was an evolutionist, I wouldn't be able to take you seriously because, well, I don't take animals seriously when they have anything to say. <laughs> and, uh, well, since you believe you're, you're from the animal kingdom, I have no reason to take you seriously. You can try and rationalize that all you want and say, well, I'm a modified monkey or I'm an evolved animal with intelligence. Well, that's your own opinion, which is the opinion of a modified animal. So I can't take you seriously. Conversation's over. And that's the quickest way to win a debate with an evolutionist. Now, I could end it right there, but uh, where's the fun in that? And, of course, I did promise in my last video to show you more proof that the Earth is only around 6,000 years old, proof that man lived with dinosaurs, and showing you more examples that the Bible can be trusted. Here we have a series of 14 human footprints with at least 134 dinosaur tracks in the bed of the Paluxy River near Glen Rose, Texas. Now, if you're going to come up with the objection saying, yeah, maybe, the, maybe those human footprints came later, um, well, they had to dig away at these uh, layers of sediment and found these tracks underneath in the rock. So, eh, wrong. Game over. Dinosaurs lived with men. Now, if you want to investigate this further, why don't you do a Google search? Go to Google whenever you have free time or after this video and type in dinosaurs lived with men. You will find hundreds of sites with pictures, science articles, evidence, all kinds of great stuff that can show you dinosaurs lived with men. Now, I could spend the rest of my video, but I don't have much time talking about this, so uh, let's go right to the global flood and the age of the Earth. What you are now looking at is a fossilized tree, also called a polystrate fossil. Poly means many, and straight refers to strata. This tree is sticking up through strata layers that evolutionists say are millions of years old. Did this tree stand for millions of years and get buried slowly? Trees don't last that long. So, the only other plausible explanation is this tree was buried rapidly, say in a worldwide flood, and those various strata layers are actually all the same age. The most interesting thing about these polystrate fossils is they are not unique. They can be found all over the world on every continent. Now, those polystrate fossils are important for two reasons. One, they do show evidence of a worldwide catastrophe, a flood, and they also show that the geological column, which was once thought to be millions of years apart in each one of the strata layers, simply cannot be trusted at all. Those trees could not have been standing for that long. So, let's also talk about further evidences that the Earth cannot be billions or millions of years old. If you've ever been on a tour in a cave, you've probably been told that the stalactites coming down off the ceiling took millions of years to form. Well, Here's a picture taken underneath the Lincoln Memorial when it was about 50 years old. And this picture right here, believe it or not, is taken in an artificial cave also around 50 years old. So, if stalactites don't take millions of years to form, what about fossils? Well, here's a fossil hat that fossilized in definitely under 100 years. Here's a fossil piece of ham, also under 100 years. Here's a fossil clock, also under 100 years. I mean, how long have clocks been around? Here's a cowboy boot with a bone in it, fossilized, also within the last hundred years. You might ask, what about coal and petrified wood? Don't those take millions of years to form? Well, if you look up Dr. Robert Gantry, he made artificial coal and petrified wood in a little under two weeks. So what we find is this. Things that evolutionists say take millions of years simply don't. Alternatively, mm -hmm. Evolutionists say certain things take millions of years, yet we don't see them happening at all. Have you ever heard of a living fossil? Basically, something we find that an evolutionist says to be, you know, 3,600 million years old, is exactly the same as what we find living today. This is called a living fossil. Let me show you some. 
This shrimp is said to be 1,700 million years old, but is the exact same as shrimp found today. This frog is said to be 25 million years old, but is the exact same as frogs found today. This snake is said to be millions of years old, but is the exact same as snakes found today. These flies are said to be 35 million years old, but are the exact same as flies found today. This scorpion is said to be 3,200 million years old, but is the exact same as scorpions found today. There was a global flood. Dinosaurs lived with men. When evolutionists say something takes millions or billions of years, you can't trust them. And, uh, well, Satan's trying to make a monkey out of you. You are not a monkey's uncle. You are made in the image of God, and you are made to glorify God. God loves you, and he died on a cross to save you. Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, came to earth and died for you. All you have to do is repent and put your trust in him. There's no reason not to. God bless you all. Check the links on the side, and I hope to see you all soon.